In this problem, we're told a bottle has a mass of 35 grams when empty and 98.44 grams when filled with water. When filled with another fluid, the mass is 89.22 grams. What is the specific gravity of this other fluid? So what we're trying to do is find specific gravity. And so in order to do this, you should know what it is first. So specific gravity, I'm just going to call it SG in this case, is going to be equal to, or what it is, it's essentially the specific gravity is the ratio of the density of a material to the density of water at 4 degrees Celsius. So essentially what this means is the density of our material, in this case it's a fluid, right? We don't know what the fluid is, so I'm just going to call it uh, rho sub f, right? So essentially uh, the density of the fluid over the density of water. So I can call it at 4 degrees Celsius, so the density of W, which is just water, right? So this is what we need to find. We need to find the density of the fluid and divide it by this, and that's going to give us SG, right? So the specific gravity of this fluid, okay? And so how do we want to do this? So the first thing we should do is just write down the given right? The given is what we need to do first. So what are they giving us? They're giving us the mass of this bottle, right? So we have this bottle. It's going to have a mass when empty of 35 grams, right? And then we're also given uh, the mass when it's filled with water and the mass when it's filled with this fluid, right? So we can just call it M and I'm going to call it, right? Oh, this is actually MB. So the mass of the bottle, and then I'm going to call this MBW, essentially the mass of the bottle with water. We know it's going to have a mass of 98.44 grams. And then this one, M, this is with a fluid, right? So we can call it MBF, right? So the mass of the bottle with the fluid is 89.22 grams, right? So these are all the things we're given. So how do we want to solve for this? So in order to do this, you should know the formula that relates um, density with mass and volume. Essentially, uh, density is equal to mass over volume. So what we want to do actually is just rewrite these with these variables. And you'll see why in a second, but it's going to make it easier for solving this. So specific gravity is going to be equal to m over v over m over v. But keep in mind what these are, right? This is going to be uh, of the fluid, and then this is going to be of the water, right? So what do we want to do? So we don't have the volume of this problem, right? They don't get, or of this um, thing that's going on right here, right? So this bottle, we don't have the volume, but we do have the mass. So what you should notice though is that it's the same bottle, right? We just have this bottle, right? And so the bottle. It has the same volume. So the volumes of the water and the fluid are the exact same, meaning that they can just cancel, right? So these are just going to cancel, and you're really just going to get the mass of the fluid, right, over the mass of the water, right? So this is all we have to do. But keep in mind, when we do this, we want the mass of the fluid and the mass of the water. What these variables are, the mass of the bottle well, with the water and then the mass of the bottle with the fluid. So we really have to subtract this because we just want the mass of the thing inside of it, not the um, bottle surrounding it, right? So when we do this, we have to subtract 35 from both of these in order to get just the thing that's inside, right? Either the water or the fluid. So that's essentially what we need to do. So we just got to take, uh, for this one, it's the mass of the fluid, right? So 89.22 grams, right, is this with the bottle's mass. So we have to subtract that. So minus 35 grams. And then on the bottom of the water, it's 98 0.44 grams, and then we have to subtract the bottle's mass, and that's just going to give us the water, right? So this is what you got to do. So 89.22 minus 35 over 98.44 minus 35, and when you do this, you're going to get 0.8547, right? So 0.8547, that's going to be the specific gravity, right, of this fluid. So uh, 0.8547, that's going to be the specific gravity, right, just this ratio of our material over uh, water at four degrees. But yeah, so this is your answer and hopefully you found this useful.